Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I have three hauls for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the first haul is from a company that I am well overdue with uh, replacing the items that I've gotten before. I have tried some new items to see if I like them better than my um, current favorite, so I'm gonna let you know a little bit about that. But right now, just to give you a little hint, it is smelling awesome awesome right now at this table so let me go ahead and get started i have ordered some sachets from a company called fresh scents which i really love i order because that is my personal pef <laughs> i'm getting tongue tied my personal preference because they are individually wrapped um so when they individually wrap it like that um it does not hinder the um, or interfere with the fragrances of the other scents that I order along with them. I have already opened this. Um, my other video was messed up so I could not show you the way that they package them. They package them extremely well so I will be placing another order in the future and being sure to let you know and to make sure that the video is right before I throw away everything. But I'll be sure to um, show you the packaging and everything in the other video but i will show you the sachets and then i will let you know the fragrance of each one and how it smells and try to describe it to the best of my abilities um, what they smell like the first one i want to show you is called pomegranates and it smells exactly like that sweet fresh juicy pomegranates and it just makes you want to just keep smelling it it is lovely i replaced the ones in my um girl's room i only ordered one this is how strong it is and their room is not that big if you are placing this in a big area you're going to need more than one these are really great for small to um tiny areas like linen closets and i do put those in linen closets as well but this is for my daughter's closet and it actually seeps out of the closet and goes into their room. It smells great, but they wanted this again. So this is the first sachet. The second one is called Paris. And this is um, what I replaced for my teenage daughter's room. And she loves this. This is as spicy as her personality. And it smells great. It almost makes it seem like you're in another country you're in europe the european spices mm, it smells wonderful so if you are into a spicier smell you're gonna love this one it smells absolutely wonderful the next one is and i've thrown away my receipts Ah, I don't remember the name of this one and it's not on the package so that's not helping me at all but this is the other one that they have that I replaced my summer romance with and I'm going to have the name of this um, somewhere below so that you know exactly what this is but it smells wonderful this is more perfumey than my actual um, favorite this is a very soft, beautiful scent, and I can't describe it, but this is still my favorite, although this one smells wonderful as well. But it's in a more perfumey type fragrance, but it does smell good. Mm. So try that. I'm so sorry. I'm just, a, I'm a sniffer. I go to Walmart, I go to different places, and I like to take my time when I get to go by myself I like to go down the candle aisle and the little fragrance oil area and just smell so I hope that I explain the scents to you as well as I can without just sitting here and smelling right in front of you so but this one is a very perfumey type smell but it's not to the point where it's so strong or yeah, it's so strong where it's like burning the insides of your nostrils and you feel like your hair should be like falling out in front of you. It is not strong like that. It is an evenly perfumed smell, but it works. And it's strong when you first get it, but then it kind of mellows out after a while, which really just enhances 
all of what they use in here to fragrance this, so I enjoy it. The next one, and this is for my room, by the way, my room and my bathroom. Um, the next one is called Ocean Life, and so it's a very nice, soft, um, they describe it as a, um, well, I guess an ocean, sea, or water type fragrance, but they said it's good for a baby's room. And to me, it's just a very fresh smelling um, sachet, but it does wonders in my son's room. And I like to walk in there and smell this. Mm, it smells good. It, they pick the perfect color for the package because it does smell blue. If you could see like the air that you would imagine coming from this, you would imagine just the sway of blue air around you. So it smells good. If you have a little boy and um, you want to fragrance his room or you have a baby and you want to fragrance their room, this would be perfect for that. It smells great. The next one that I got is called Spiced Pumpkin and it smells like exactly that. Pumpkin smell with spice and it almost has like a creaminess to it, to the scent, if I could say that. But it smells like I should have a straw in front of me and some whipped cream on top of my little um, warm or cold drink and just sip a what? Mm, it smells delicious. So you should grab these wherever you can find them. I order them, but you can get them from Kirkland's, I think Bed Bath & Beyond, and maybe a few other little knickknack stores that has things for homes. Um, you can probably find this, but get this before Thanksgiving, get this before fall is over. I don't know if they're gonna continue to keep this or not, but I hope they do. It smells great. All right, the last one is, um, <laughs> the one with the fox on it. There's no name to the um, the fragrance on here. So again, I will have that um, somewhere beside me so you guys know exactly what this scent is called. So if you are interested in getting it, you would know which one to look for. But this has also a kind of a spicy, perfumey type smell. But like I said before, Fresh Scents knows how to layer their scents where nothing is overpowering the other and everything works just unifiably can i say that it works together so this smells good i love the little fox on there i love the little pattern that it has it's so cute but anyway i keep this in the guest room and the reason i wanted something for the guest room is because we normally since it's not being used all the time we keep the vents closed and so it can get kind of a you know, I can't think of the word I want. But anyway, it can have a smell of a room that's being closed up because there's no airflow. So um, I thought I'd get this and it's doing great in that room. And I put it on the windowsill and I put the other one in the closet. So that is all for fresh scents. And um, I'm gonna move on to my Ulta haul. I'm going to list prices below in the, um, the information area because I've thrown away the receipt, I've thrown away the box, I've done this, um, I've tried to do this video like three times. I don't know if this has ever happened to you all, but when I tried to upload to YouTube, it got to 35% and then it just stopped. And so the minutes kept going up to like all the way to 200 and I tried this over and over again. I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo this video and um, get it out to you all so you all can see these products that I enjoy so much and some things that I'm going to be trying. So, moving on, not trying to take up too much of your time. From the um, Ulta haul, I got, I went back and got some more Catrice products, so I wanna show that to you. This is the Liquid Metal Eyeshadow. So, that is the first one, and it is called Mobs Like Jagger. That is what the color looks like. I'm gonna swatch it so you can see it. It's very pigmented. 
It is so pretty. I like it. That's what I like about these shadows, and I have yet to use them. I've only swatched them for the videos, but I'm going to do these in some makeup looks because I'm just way behind on my makeup looks. I'm sorry, you all, but I've been getting into other things, trying to do other videos that I haven't done in a while, and so it's like I need to just do different varieties um, at one time instead of doing the same videos in a row, so forgive me for that. But the next one is also Catrice Liquid Metal. And I'm saying liquid meadow, liquid metal, uh, enunciate nay. All right, and so this is what it looks like. And this is the swatch. And so you see how pigmented? Those are so beautiful and I can't, this is the one I really wanna try. This is so pretty, I love the teals. Oh, I didn't say the name of it. Um, it's a teal color, but the name of it is What Do You See? So, absolutely beautiful. I like it. Okay. The next one is a velvet matte. So, Catrice Velvet Matte Eyeshadow. And this one is in the color <laughs> Al Burgundy. So that's what it looks like. These names, y'all. <laughs> These names. I love them. Um, let me swatch that one for you. Very, very deep burgundy. I've been seeing a lot of looks with the burgundy color, so I thought that I would try this brand in that color, and I'm going to see what kind of look I can practice making, something that's different from everybody else's, and um, give it a try, and then see what you think about it. All right, the next one is by a brand I had never heard of until I saw it on Ulta. And then, of course, after I had already paid for these items, I went looking on YouTube to see who else had um, learned about it. So apparently, um, JCAT has been around for a little bit. And there's lots of videos on this brand. And um, so, so far, I think they have a pretty good rating, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch it in a it's been swatched like three or four times because that's how many times I had to do videos to get this out. So anyway, it is a cute little cat on there and it was so cute in the beginning. It was like a copperish, goldish um, color to it. And um, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with um, applying this on the brush and applying it on my face because this is highly, highly pigmented. But I can't wait to see Oops, the um, the staying um, time, staying power of this one. Hopefully it is long lasting. All right, the last one is also JCAT, the Golden Salil Baked Bronzer. And it looks pretty. It really does. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that on my thumb. But that seems very pigmented as well. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like on as a highlighter. But um, it is not the sheenest of um, highlights. So I'm going to be curious to what that looks like, what that brings to the table as far as highlights are concerned. All right, so, oh, and the last thing, I almost moved on to the next haul, but the last thing that I got from this particular Ulta haul is Pacifica. It is the Kale Detox Deep Cleaning Face Wash. It removes makeup, it cleanses and tones, it has coconut water, clay, and super greens. It is a powerhouse of antioxidants. It is for oily and acne-prone skin types, and it is sulfate-free. So I like that and I have oily skin and I am prone to acne. So I've already started using this and I tell you what, I was amazed the first time I used it. I only take a little bit of a, a drop, a dime sized amount and wet my face and apply this and rub it in and rinse it off and it, I love the way my skin looks and feels. It feels very clean after I use this. So um, I would recommend that one. All right, on to the next haul. This is a Sephora haul. 
and so one of the items that I got, I think I had mentioned in another video about how much I like this product. And so it just happened to be on sale again, so I picked it up. And I'm gonna show you what I got. And there's really one main reason I made this order. They were offering some free things, and so it was a large amount of free things, and so I got it. But anyway, the first thing that I want to show you is this Manoi Creamy Body Wash. So this is different. I didn't pay attention to this. The other one was a body scrub. This is a creamy body wash, so it's not going to have that little um, exfoliating pieces in there. So it's, I hope it still smells the same. In fact, I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It still smells the same, but it's creamy. It's not an exfoliating wash. So I am looking forward to trying that. It's probably Mm, a good thing. Hopefully it moisturizes. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is something I've been wanting to try. I've been hearing a lot about Bare Minerals. And so I got the Bare Minerals Veil. And this is in the shade. Um, it's the Tinted Mineral Veil. So I don't see what shade it is. But they had a transparent one which is just plain. Uh oh, hopefully I'm not getting blush on me. Um, it's just a plain one that, um, you know, like the normal transparent um, powders. This one has a little bit of a tint, like a tan. Okay. That is sealed. So hopefully you can see the color, the shade. It's a light tan. So I can't wait to try that and see how that works for me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I swallowed the wrong way. Okay, so this is the thing that I wanted. I had a lot of samples in here that I had been wanting to try but wasn't sure about paying regular price for. This is the Holiday Deluxe Sample Bag number two. So this is the bag that they give and it's so cute. And it has a gold zipper and it has a little Sephora tag on it but let's look at what what's inside there was one main thing in here look at that it's just a bunch of samples but there was one main thing in here that I wanted to try and I'm gonna pull that out first okay so it is the Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray so that was the biggest thing I've heard so many things about it and I just didn't want to invest like full price so when I saw that they had come out with that the little bag I wanted to try it so this is a pretty good amount for a sample 0.5 fluid ounces but anyway so I'm looking forward to trying that so when I do my little um, makeup videos, makeup looks or whatever, I will um, apply that and then tell you what I think about it. Um, the next thing is a Lacombe Mascara. So, let's see. I'm just going to show you all that from the package because I don't want to take too much time. But anyway, I can't wait to try that. The... Next thing is a NARS. Okay, that's open for me so I can pull that out. This is a NARS mascara. So, I think it's in, okay. Black Moon is the color of that. So, can't wait to try that. I have a Sephora, I think it's a lip tint, oil fusion. What is that? Okay. I know it's a lip tint. The handwriting is so tiny. But anyway, it's oil fusion. So I don't know if you all have tried that. If you have, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on that? What should I expect? 
The next thing is Glam Glow. And what is this? Mud to Foam. Okay, so it's a Thirsty Cleanse Daily Hydrating Cleanser. So, can't wait to try that. I've heard a lot of things about Glam Glow as well. Okay, Stella um, Eau de Parfum. So y'all know I like my perfumes. And what is this? Okay, so Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. So I was curious about this one. So have y'all tried that? Do you know anything about it? Let me know. Okay, and then the last thing in here is a lip balm by JB. And it's in the um, flavor Natural Mint. And I think it has a 25... SPF sunscreen. So that is the end of my haul. So I am hoping that this video makes it out to you and I have no difficulties uploading this. So if you're seeing it, then you know everything worked out this time. But I apologize for not being able to show you the details that I wanted to, but I also wanted to show you the products that I've, I'm getting. So if you're interested, then you can look for these things too. And if you have any information about these products that I'm about to try, or you have used anything, um, these sachets or any of the body products or whatever, let me know your experience. I love to hear stuff like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you can keep up with more things that I have planned. And someone's calling me. Anyway, I will see you all on the next video, God willing. Bye-bye. <laughs>